Man, this was fire. <laughs> Hats off to him. He is doing something that will obviously change the world. So, in this can here, I have plastiline. Gasoline alternative that I made 100% from plastic waste. And what we have here is a beautiful vintage truck. And today, the 6th of April, 2025, I'm about to put plastiline inside of a truck and run it for the first time in history. So, are we all ready? Yeah! Let's do it! Plastic yeah. in the fuel. I'm gonna be pouring the plastiline in right here. And right here, we have a hose that goes right to the fuel pump. So I'm gonna pour the plastiline in this can, and when the engine is cranked, it's gonna pull the plastiline directly into the engine. So this will be running off of 100% pure plastiline. So I'm gonna pour it in, and then everybody will be able to come and see what it looks like inside of the tank. So. Yeah, make sure you guys get that, that pour, get that pour action there. All right. And just for history's sake, I kind of want, you know, a few of you guys to come up and see and confirm that there is stuff in the can. You know, for, for history's sake, for the video's sake, nobody's going to say we didn't do it. <laughs> it's very yellow. If you, if you want to know what it smells like, too. Hey, and for the record, just off of the smell, can you guys, is it gasoline in there? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, it, it's plastic. You guys are supposed to say no. You're supposed to say it's plastiline. It's it's, does it smell different from gasoline? Yeah, it's way different. Yes, yeah, it's different. So this is not gasoline that we just put in here. This is plastiline. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It smells like burnt gasoline. Yep, get that. Uh, so how do you describe the liquid in the Plastiline. It's like very yeah, it yellow. Did you get a close up of in there? All right. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. You're fine, you're fine. Oh, good fun, or bad fun? It smells like plastic. It actually smells a little bit like burnt plastic. It kind of smells like cleaner. Can you smell it, Bob? Yeah. All right. Uh, like your clean shoe. Get that top with. Like three. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Sorry, man. Uh, you, you have the game. You want to start in another problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to see? Yes. Hey, much love to Houston, everybody. It's been an amazing experience here. It's reciprocated. Thank you all for making this possible. Thank you to Bobby for the truck. Uh, Carlos for the, the venue location, Matt for the filming, the other Matt for connecting everything together. Thank you all for making this possible, coming up for all your support. And we're about to make history right now. You ready, Bobby? Ooh. Let's do it. Plastic in the fuel. Come on, baby. Come on. Get that stop. Get the stop that it's going in. Get that stop. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Right here. Right here. Right here. Yes, right. We gotta make sure we get this, okay? Alright, everybody stay safe. We're ready. I think I can speak for us both when I say that it's beautiful to see Mr. Brown out here to just be so impactful towards so many people over a just cause, such as trying to use waste that's already been produced by human beings 
and turning it into a usable fuel source and also creating those sorts of energy. So Julian really came out here to Houston and he's showing us his actual, from his tests, his experiments, his yeah. reactor he's built in Alabama and he's come all the way out here. He's actively trying to change the planet for the better and I'm definitely here for it. There's no better time, there's no better person to really be being able to do this for us. It's very inspiring and impactful to see somebody who just touched so many lives off of a just cause. We just put a prayer of protection over this man. Like, we really hope that with everything in us, he's able to experiment more, create more, like, treatment waste just solutions. You know, we love to see people out here critically thinking for the betterment of the planet. And not only that, but using waste that's already generated to turn it into something we can practically use. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. I thought it was really interesting the way that he does it entirely. From the process of the actual paralysis from the chamber into plastiline and then actually being able to run the vehicle off of it. The ambition and know-how to go through and with all the dedication and everything, hats off to him. He is doing something that will obviously change the world and in many ways shaping what humans can do if we just put our dedication in the right places. And if we think about the back end of the problems that are solutions to the problems that we have. Because with plastic production, then we have the plastic waste, and we just think about, oh hey, we have this really great thing, we don't think about the thing afterwards. He's thinking about the thing afterwards. That's what we need to do to keep progressing as humans, and to ultimately be more mindful of the Earth. Thank you. Yeah. What you think about it, man? Man, this was fire. It was amazing. I would do it again. I would come here again. If he has kerosene, I'm a fire spitter. I'm trying to spit some kerosene next time. That's my goal. Mm -hmm. I think it's fire. Good, good. Thank you. What do you think about it? It was awesome. I don't know a whole lot about cars and everything, but it was like so cool to see. And he's so smart. And it's just, it's really exciting for like the future and everything that like he has planned. I'm so impressed and have a lot of faith in him to just change the world, honestly. He's an innovator. Yeah, he is. Awesome. And may God bless him in all of his endeavors. Yes. Awesome. How do you think about the program, man? It was a really fun day, especially watching the first truck run off of plastic. Also, the live Q and like the Q and A, I really like that because like you gotta communicate and like learn how everything works and ask questions. Did you learn anything? Did you come in with anything ideas about, or did he answer all your questions that you learned? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I had a lot of questions and he answered all of them without me even asking. Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, thanks, man. I came in here not knowing anything about who Julian Brown was or what was going on. Super excited about the future of Plants to Lean. Awesome. It's educated and innovative. Some people don't. Innovative. <laughs> awesome. Guy. Awesome. Yeah. Show. Perfect. What y'all think about it? I mean, I don't know much, but that was crazy. That was cool. That'd be the coolest thing I've seen this week. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. What about you, sir? Protect this man at all times. That's all I'm going to say. That's what everyone yeah, says. Really awesome. awesome. So, Bobby, you own this truck, right? Yes. Uh, what year was this? It's a 72 Chevrolet C10. Okay, and what were you thinking kind of going into this? What did you think was going to happen? I wasn't sure what was. I knew it would run, but my curiosity was, is the octane going to be enough to let it run? Or what's it going to do under a load? Is it going to just pit her out when you put it under a load? And the ignition, the flame, uh, how quickly it's going to fire? So it fires immediately. It works exactly like it does on, and I run pr uh, premium and, and mid-grade on this one. And it runs exactly the same. There's no pre-detonating. You don't hear anything clattering. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. No knocking, none of that. Nothing. When did you first hear about me and came across my work of turning plastic into fuel? About a year ago on Instagram, a video popped up. I started watching it, so then I started diving into it. And I follow a lot of fuel, alternative fuel sources. But Bobby, this is a very nice truck. So are you at all like kind of worried? Like oh, no. Anything that can break, we can fix. <laughs> <laughs> You think we can start it up one more time? Yeah, 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 so. Last only! Last
100% plastic waste, ran this beautiful truck for the first time in history, Houston, Texas, April 6, 2025. Yeah. Thanks for I mean, I, I feel great. I was a little bit nervous just because I didn't want to ruin his truck, you know. <laughs> this is an experimental fuel, but I've run it in weed whackers, chainsaws. I run it in so many engines myself, like smaller scale engines, so like, Logically, I knew it had to work, but I was just worried, of course. Like, I couldn't even look you in the eyes if I ruined your engine. <laughs> I mean, it went well, it went great, and so I feel really good. And I think that this is really just, like, the strides to the next step, because, like like Bobby said, now we're going to see race cars. You know, after we do race cars, maybe we're doing supercars, maybe we're doing jets, maybe we're doing yachts, you know? So it's going to keep going, you know, to, to prove that plastic is not waste, but it is fuel. That's the number one thing. The goats! <laughs> So thank you all for coming out, and I'm Any glad. Any inspiring words? Oh uh, yeah, you know, I, I would say in my inspiring words to everybody, regardless of anything you're doing, is uh, you know the importance of perseverance and, and self belief, because that's how I got here. I've been doing this for five years. You know, you can go back on my YouTube channel and my very first video. I talk about some of the things that I'm literally doing today. I'm saying I want to run my machine up with solar panels. I want to put the fuel in cars and. Now we're here making it happen, but I had to hold it down for all that time. You know, a story that kind of happened, um, it was about my second year getting into it, right? A guy came up to me, he wanted to give me funding, $100,000. He wanted 50% of my company. I came close to giving it to him because I was like, you know, I kind of need the money, I, you know, I need help. But then, you know, I was kind of just steered in the direction of like not doing that. And then a few years after that, I got a $100,000 grant. Gave up zero equity, but you see self-belief. I had to know in myself. I had to, I had to see in myself what he saw in me to give me $100,000. So I wasn't taken advantage of, right? And so that's why I can tell everybody, you have to believe in yourself and what you're doing, and you have to be in it for the long run, perseverance. Five years, I'm ready to do this for the next 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all for coming out again, seriously. Thank you. Thank you. It's been an amazing experience in Houston.